All right. <laughs> oh, Friday nights, eh? Friday nights. There's some hello. Oh good. Oh, bro, what are you doing? Kajo, sorry, bro. I, I didn't even see you there. What's going on? Wait, are you at home? Yeah. Man's at home. I was using the gym, bro. Like, yeah, home gym, home gym. The man them are crying. Oh, the gym's closed. I'm like, you should have bought the tin when you had a chance. Talk to me. What are you saying, bro? Should women approach yeah. men and are men okay with that? I, you know, I, I think you got to define what is approach. Yeah. But then also, what we don't look into is there are men with feminine energy and there are women with masculine energy. Mm -hmm. So it might be right for you. It depends on what you want. There are, listen, there are a lot, a lot of domineering women. Who mm -hmm. wants control? Who want absolute control? Yeah. Then it's okay for you because that's you're looking for that kind of guy. You're looking for a guy who's gonna submit to you. But if you're more, let's say, traditional in your views, maybe you don't want to be the ultimate pursuer. But there's nothing wrong with like doing like the peacocks do, g getting close by, making yourself available, giving off adequate signage. Like you know what? You look the kind of person I'd like to get to know. Do you know what I mean? I don't see anything wrong with that. What 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 you made the point you just made though is that um and the, you know there's different types of women in it yeah and like you said there's different types of men but all men, all men are supposed to go and approach all men. Well, this is the thing, and and you know what, at well, coach, a lot of women are missing out, like and and there will be the single auntie in the church waiting for their Saturday, right? But <laughs> they're missing out because of someone else's ideal. You're not supposed to. There are some guys who have been mistreated at the hand of women you touched on it earlier on so it's the thing where i pluck up the courage to come and say hello and you're like mm, yeah. all of that certain men have gone through that in their childhood mm. uh, or, or even in um let's say domineering mothers domineering aunties domineering women in ch and and now they they don't even trust going and making that that advance so sometimes for a woman throw the man a bone Do you know what i like that hat you look nice Nice, whatever. Let him know that it's, it's safe. Because a lot of it comes down to those primal things. If I don't feel safe, what can I do? And some, some women are like, well, if, he, if he's not brave enough, then whatever. But at the end of the day, you're single, isn't it? <laughs> See? Now, 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 now the, the thing is, there is no problem with that. But there is an issue if, you, if it's not where you want to be. See, some people don't want to be in a relationship. Yeah, and they're fine, right. they don't care, whatever, which I think a lot of people hide behind, but anyway. I'm saying this, if your objective isn't to be single, then right. you, are, you, are you just gonna, uh, uh, in this day and age where the women are coming up, they're coming up, they're getting more confident, they're claiming shit, they're taking mm -hmm. stuff, which is what mm -hmm. I think all women need to do. So ask you for permission, go and get yours and take yours. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 yeah. But, it's, it's like, but it's like it stops in certain brackets. Because now we want chivalry to come back, but certain times we don't want chivalry. Like there's no, as a man, I'm confused, bro. Do you know what? Let me give you this story. Um, uh, uh, an old church of mine, I, I used to be on the singles ministry and we would make events, we'd organize events for the singles. Uh, one of our colleagues, she, she comes in and she's asking us how to deal with this guy whose number she took but she doesn't like him, but he likes her. And, she, and, and first of all, it's like, well, you're not obliged to call him. Do you know what I mean? What'd you take his number for? And she said this to me, and it really got me to think about the nature of love and understanding sacrifice and understanding putting someone else's safety and importance and security a ahead of your own for a moment. She said, I don't know what he's gone through in his life. I don't want to be the woman who crushes him. He may never do this again. And I thought, rah, to hear a woman speaking like that, it's levels. So we've got to understand every single opportunity that you speak to somebody is an opportunity for you to learn, for you to grow. Uh, how do I communicate with this type of a person? How, you know, can, can I let this person down the way I would want to be let down? Mm -hmm. you know I mean? And keep it moving. Mm -hmm. um, again, do you feel like we've come, like, I guess, has, has this generation become bad at communication now? Where, where, where everything is a bit shorter, there's, there's, there's less real long 
long conversations. Everything's a bit shorter. Everything's a bit microwave conversation. Mm -hmm. Get to the yeah. point. What, you know what I mean? No long yeah. stories. All of that stuff. Have we, you know, it, 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 is that some of the reasons why, um, you know, it, it's not happening in, in, in enough? Absolutely. We, like, we are not patient enough to communicate. We're not patient enough to find out what is that person's love language and what's the best way to give them this message. We, we don't care about articulating ourselves that great. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, um, if, even I'm not interested. I mean, it's your truth and, and you're able to. But do you know what? Do you know what? You seem like a cool guy, but I'm just not in a place of a relationship right now. But thank you for coming and saying hello. Like, and you know what? You're going to meet the right person for you. Just that little bit more... At least you would empower him. I, I didn't make the mistake of 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 taking that chance because again, none of us like rejection. I feel like there's a you know there's like you said, it's it's down to communication and how you communicate your no. Mm -hmm. See, um, I'm not blaming women and I, and I'm not blaming men, right? I'm just saying that one action causes a reaction. There we go. Yeah, so you cannot I'm... you cannot be disrespectful and tell somebody how to react to disrespect. It's true. You, it's, you cannot do that. It's unfair to disrespect mm. someone and tell them how they should respond to it. They should just take it. How? How? How can you make me feel a certain way when I've come? And remember, I'm talking about mm -hmm. the guy that's come to you with manners. I'm not talking about that fool that right. comes into you and starts dragging you up and all that. That's a fool, isn't it? We ain't got no minutes mm -hmm. for fools. I'm talking about the guy that has come from a good background and knows how to talk to women and yeah. feels disrespected. Mm. And he's just supposed I, to yeah. just, 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 I told you what I said, deal with it. Mm. Mm. That's, I, I, that's, you know, bad, I, that's bad communication. Absolutely. And I, I think it is fair to say that both women and men get this wrong. So some guys are too, you know, rude in their approach. But then it, so a friend of mine told me, these guys come to try and search her. And they came, oh, yo, see, 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 see. and you know what? She just, she, she undressed them. She's like, why do you think it's acceptable to speak to me like that? So she didn't even diss them, and she wasn't interested in them, but she wanted to teach them something. So by the, like, by the time they finished, they were very respectful, and they moved forward empowered. Chances are, the next person, the next girl that they approach, they're going to be like, well, a little bit more respectful. Moment. And sometimes it's about that. It's about us all. Remember, we've all gone through our own traumas and bad experiences and finances, and we've learned different things. And some of what we learned is wrong. But sometimes that exchange is gonna put me straight. I'm gonna go raw from that one. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it that way. Bro, bro, I've been I've been schooled on so many occasions of mm. of, of especially when I was young because yeah. fear made me wild out and be aggressive. Fear, the fear mm -hmm. of actually being rejected made me move mad. Yeah, yeah I remember I spoke to this grown woman. I had no business talking to this woman. Yeah. yeah, but but back then I was confident, bro. I don't give a shit. Yeah. So I went and spoke to this and I said, yeah, 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 can I chat to you, right? And she was like, is that how you talk, is that how you talk to people? I felt this big. <laughs> but, but the thing is, but yeah. the thing is, I felt this big for five minutes, why? Because she didn't let me go with that. She educated me. She yeah. took the time to make sure that I never ever do that again, right? Yeah. And that's what we've got to do. Sometimes we feel like that person isn't our problem or our business. So we just mm -hmm. talk to them how we want to, and we just throw exactly. them back into the world and they're going to continue doing that. I, I, watch this one, coach. Watch the end of that one. The guy that you diss today could be the guy that's taking liberties with your brethren tomorrow. Mm. And had you handled him differently, he might have left a whole different man. Mm. Mm. I think, I think we've, we've, we've lost our responsibility to each other, to humanity. Do you know what I mean? It's, 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 a, it's a bit more than the <laughs> there's, there's a, I that I'm having. I don't have to care. Actually. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. That's his business. Oh, that's her business. So what? She, she's a scared. Like, all of that stuff, it don't help. And if that vicious cycle, somebody disses me, next time I'm not going to be the one to be, to be dissed, I'll do the dissing. And then <laughs> she's now dissing. And he's now dissing. And we be dissing. And eventually somebody has to be brave enough to be vulnerable and say, you know what? <clears throat> even, even when the dissing happens, you know what, sis? That was actually very hurtful. You didn't need to handle me like that. Even that lesson for her could help. But mm -hmm. we're, 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 too, we're too behind our walls, our armors and our bravados. And not enough vulnerability, I say. Bro, that has been amazing. Like, and, and, and again, I'm, I'm learning even more because I think the, the main thing that you said is communication. It's how you communicate. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? How you communicate. The fact of the matter is, is, is when you approach, there's, a, there's, there's two things that can happen. You get success or rejection. 
Right. And, and, and the thing is, every guy's been rejected to the point we're immune to it. So it's because mm -hmm. we're immune to it, sometimes that might help us moving mad. Again, right. it doesn't justify our action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all he's asking for a bit of understanding as a guy. Yeah. Also, because we are the ones who are more so having to do it, so sometimes that extra grit and that extra bravado and sometimes rudeness is the defense. It's the defense against that. And I'm not saying it's right, but if we understand it, we can do better when we see it. Do you know what it is, yeah? I'll tell you something, ladies, yeah? Sometimes, you see, um, and you don't have to care about this, but just listen to it and hear some understanding, yeah? Sometimes a guy moves mad, so when the girl says no, he has a I reason. I care anyway. Yeah, he has yeah. a reason. Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what's harder to take for guys when I approach you kindly, and then you mm -hmm. and then you actually say no politely. Now, now, now I've got a, I've got a decision as a big head. Yeah? I've just got to say to the man then. Guess what? She didn't like me, and <laughs> no man, man would rather say, oh, she had an attitude, or she did, 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 rather than yeah. tell the man the fam. She just weren't feeling man. And yeah. I'm just saying to you, yeah, it's it's like everybody in that in that instance, everybody's a little bit defensive. Everybody. Yep, our defensive. Mm -hmm. We're defensive, but we're still we're still attacking, but we're mm. still defensive in our attack because yeah. we, we give you the energy that we um, that, that allows you to. Um, sometimes when you when you go to a woman with disrespect and she's actually feeling you, that will throw a man off. Yeah, because he wasn't even expecting you to say yeah, and now we don't even know what else to say. Mm -hmm. So 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 I'm mm -hmm. saying to you, a lot of guys that approach him, I'm telling you, most of it mm -hmm. is out of fear. Fear. They, they, they don't. They don't really care about the result. They just want to look cool and say, you know, I want to chat to this girl and blah, blah, blah. And you know what's mad? Certain guys will chat shit. They would have just approached the girl and they'll see her at a whole other party or whatever. And I told the man, that, yeah, I, I chat to her one time, you know. And that chat to her might sound way more deeper than it actually was. But that's his little stupid ego. For the man <laughs> so, so I'm just saying to you. I'm just saying to you, like. I'm not, I'm not for any man that goes out there and feels it's okay to be disrespectful to women. Innit? All I ask is respect, yeah? A good guy when he approaches you. Because you, most of you ain't willing to do it. See, if women were willing to do it, mm -hmm. we could, you, you would understand what it takes for us to do it. Do you know how many men have seen their wife and let her go because they were cowards? Not cowards, they weren't, they weren't confident. Yeah. They've seen a great woman that they mm. believe they could add a lot to you, but they weren't confident. And I've, heard, I've also heard a woman say, listen, if a man's afraid to talk to me, yeah, he can't, that's yeah. not, that, if a man's afraid to me, he ain't the one then. What? Yeah. yeah. So every good guy must have confidence. Is, is that what that means? Every good guy out here has confidence. It's, it's a lie. Mm -hmm. It's a lie. Some guys have great um, abilities. Great men have no confidence, have zero confidence. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of them are brushed off. You, you know yep. what I mean? If you're scared to talk to me, you're not for me. Mm. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Hey, the let's keep that, it pushing, bro. That one's a mistake. Yeah, nice one, brother. <laughs> All right, safety. Thanks for that, brother. Yeah. Peace.